June. The Lord is shaking Nigeria to the extent people will look for a way to run out, but all airports will be shut down. Are you understanding what I'm saying? A time is coming in Nigeria that the airports will be shut down. They won't be going out. They won't be coming in. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The Lord will deal with the people he wants to deal politically, physically. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So if you are in Abuja, be very careful. Be at your home place by the minimum time of 6 p.m. You are at home because a well-known man, not unknown gunmen, is coming to Abuja because the Lord is showing me Kaduna Road. I'm saying the same Kaduna Road. I don't know. The Lord is showing me Kaduna Road. The Lord is showing me if Abuja is close to Kaduna or so. The Lord is showing me that place is not going to be easy. There's a lot of killings that is going to go on in the month of June and July. It's going to be so bloody. In the month of June, it's going to be for a lot of youth. Then in the month of July, it's going to be political people that will be dying. They, the, this unknown gunmen that they are talking about, they don't want to talk about. They don't want to protect. The Lord said, it's time. I will shift the unknown gunmen to the known political people so that your known gunmen will face the political people who have refused to fight the unknown gunmen. That is what the Lord is saying in Abuja city. And believe me, it's going to affect the economy of Abuja city. Now, people might not be working freely. Airports might not be working. We should be very prayerful. It's coming in Abuja. The storm is going to fall for three days consistently in Abuja, drizzling. And that is the time the challenges will come. And after it, rain will fall for complete two days to stop it and it's going to wash away listen each time maximum people die rain is going to fall and wash the blood away mark that is happening in the city of Abuja. now when we move to the place of lagos there's going to be a hell in a cell you see the way hold up has so much in lagos the shakings the shakings will reduce the hold up because everybody will be scared the terror by night is in Lagos. We need to pray. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm seeing Lagos being shaken. There are details I would have given to you people, but I can't give the details because of my own life. Nobody can kill me. Nobody can take, do me anything. But for the shaking, not for stress, so I will use wisdom. So as I said, Lagos, pray for Lagos. A serious attack is coming to Lagos and everybody in that Lagos will fear for their life. Mostly you see those poor areas are terrorism, including those riches, those rich places, those big Lekki, Ikoi and all that VI, terrorism will be there too. So it's gonna shake everywhere. What about Kano? Kaduna is also, Sokoto is still coming back. These are back to back killings. Stay in your house. I don't want to go deep. If I go deep, I will give you details street by street by street by street. Because the Lord is showing me a place in Wuse, in Abuja. In this Wuse, I saw, I saw convoy that were coming, and unknown gunmen. Even the checkpoint was not is not even far from. I'm seeing Wuse too. I'm seeing the Lord is showing me. And I saw gunmen shoot this politician into pieces. All the bullets were not touching his face, but they were shooting at his heart. It happened in Abuja. It is coming. And the Lord showed me in Lagos that the politician was going to the airport. So while he was going to try to pass a court shot in Ikeja, he was bracket. And they didn't even want to care who is in the car. And everybody shot at that car. The military man died, the driver died, the politician died. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And the Lord is also saying that Nigeria gets ready for assassination, political assassination. It's coming to Nigeria in the month of, by the ending of June to July. You see why they are shifting the period of the election, the primary stage of 
or they can call it a primary election or whatever they call it, it is because of the danger ahead of it because assassination is on ground. The Lord is showing me the picture of a man which I can show you. He was assassinated unexpectedly and this man is well respected in Nigeria. And the Lord is showing me you know, people think that Tinibu is not going to go far. Tinibu is very good. It's going to go far. If you don't pray, Tinibu will go far in this political aspect to be the president of Nigeria. It is your prayer that will slow him and stop him. But as I'm talking to you, he can be slow. The force he's moving with, we need to pray. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm going to write it down. I try to pray for a man from the East. He was once a governor of a state in the East, and he looks like everybody likes him. The Lord said he is not the man for Nigeria. I'm going to share everybody, if they become the president, what will happen and what will not happen. That's how you will know the specific person. So everybody should pray. I have a lot to say, but I can say it because I just want to use wisdom. Please, I beg you in the name of God, pray for your family. If you are taking your kids to boarding school in Nigeria, please withdraw the kids. If you want to be safe in Nigeria, there are two states that are safe. Port Harcourt is safe for now. Because from the underground, I saw security people that are coming. That is, will be done in the state. You see, Port Harcourt will be safe. Very, very safe. To some certain extent. That's it. But the state of Imo will be more dangerous in this month we are entering in July. Anambra will be more dangerous. I saw in the vision, people went into a market and began to shoot at the market people and spray bullets. And people died in the market and people were scared to come out to say blood were everywhere. In Imo states, they are coming to Oweri, not in the local government area. Now they are coming to the Oweri local government where people are selling. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So, as I said, River State is safe, and Ugeli in Delta State is safe for people to stay. Listen, if you have the strength to travel to Ghana, please go. If you don't have the liver, just, just go to a neighboring country, because you will see people dying on the floor like it's COVID-19. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's not really like a war, but it's war. Nobody can save Nigeria except God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Please, all the northern states are in problem. Pray for them. And now the southeast are in problem. Pray for them. Just pray for peace. I keep telling them Biafra will not come now. Biafra will come when Nigeria is in peace. If you people say we are not going to vote for next year election, the wrong person will become the president of Nigeria. Then you will still repeat what you are repeating from 2015 till now. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I won't go deep. I will beg everybody, get your voter's card because as I'm talking to you, in the northern part, and to Niji, your voters' card are being made there. A lot of people who are not citizens of Nigeria are making their voters' card so that they can buy this voters' card to win you for the election. Including the same Igbo people will sell out their voters' card because of this time. It's going to be 20, 20,000, some 10,000. If you love your life, don't say your vote. That's what the God is saying. Please, this is the least I can take for now. The rest will post it with wisdom. God bless you. God be with you. And God guide you. I love you.
it is well. Support your ministry, my ministry, and for God to do a wonderful thing in the name of Jesus. Wow, my battery is very low. God bless you.